Hello, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev, Sunday night Facebook Live. Everybody hop on when you get the notification and we're going to get started at 7 o'clock on the dot. Oh boy, it's Sunday already, but most of you who are working have tomorrow off, so that's a good thing. Schools are closed and that type of thing, so everybody gets an extra day. Let's see if anybody gets on tonight. There we go. Now I'm starting to see numbers. Hi, Mary. Welcome. Hello, Annie. Three more minutes. Hi, Karen. Welcome. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Hi, Karen Kirshner. There's Karen Tenney and Karen Kirshner. Hello, hello. I hope everybody had a great day. It's been quiet here since we can't go out. It's kind of boring. Hi, Linda. Was was I the first one? I keep trying. No, you were second, as far as I could tell, though, Annie, because you know how that works. What I see and sometimes what you guys see are two different things. But you were second. Who was first? Let's see. Mary was first. You keep trying. Keep trying. <laughs> so I have the uh, not orderable list up in case anybody wants to know if certain things are not orderable. There's not that many, thank goodness. And they all have a date attached to them that says when they will be orderable again. Well, I guess there is quite, quite a few things. I've been lucky so far. My customers haven't really, as far as I know, haven't really run into that. Hi, Diane. Hi, Louise. Um, one more minute. So if anybody's interested in me reading off that list, let me know and I'll do that for you. So it was a, a nice day today. I actually got a walk in, which I hadn't been able to do because it was either too cold in the morning and then by the afternoon I wasn't in the mood anymore or whatever. Hi, Carol. Um, but today I said, I'm gonna go for a walk. And I actually had to take my scarf off that I put on. Just got done watching Johnny, oh, Johnny Mathis. Great, love him. There we go, seven o'clock. Thank you everyone for staying up late on the East Coast and being here with me today. I always look forward to seeing your names and hoping that you guys are having a good day, a good weekend. I am going to start working, um, walking during the 49er game. Oh, yeah, my husband watched that. I don't, I'm not a football person, so I didn't watch it, but I was, I don't know what I was doing, running around doing all kinds of things. Anyway, um, I'm going to use a different stamp set today, um, but I am still going to um, talk to you and, and work with you about using this stamp set with the bunny set. Hi, Rosemary. Um, a lot of you have purchased it now, and uh, it's another great set to collage. I'm not gonna use the, the Easter Friends stamp set today. Hi, Eva. But this is another good set to have in your arsenal to build collages with. That's what drew me to it. Hi, Donna. So um, let's get started with what I have to share today. First, I'm gonna announce the winner of Tuesday's card. Hi Bev. And this is it. It was with the Easter friends and the collage with the little chick. I'm so glad everybody liked that technique, by the way. I think I'm in the high 500s on the demonstrator's planning place. Everybody liking that. So I'm thrilled with that. And the winner is Nita. I haven't seen her on yet today, but Nita, you have one week to let, me, to let me know that you saw this and that you would like this card. All you need to do is send me your address. I will put your address in my book of addresses, my followers, and uh, then if you win, the next time you win, you won't have to give it to me. Again, I'll already have it. Hi, Arlene, welcome. All right, so I think I'm ready to turn you down 
I have a whole bunch of samples, but I'm going to try not to keep you guys as long as I've been keeping you. So uh, you'll be seeing a lot of the samples on Tuesday too. So please come back Tuesday at two, okay, for the to be continued. Otherwise I'd have you for hours and it's already late back east. Hi Charlene, welcome. Let me turn you guys down to my desk. Okay, and then let me get you straight. There we go. Glad you could be here, Charlene. I enjoyed service today watching John online. He's just so, so amazing. All right. So, I, like I said, I do have the, um, the non-orderable items up on my computer next to me if anybody wants to know what is not orderable i can tell you if not then i'm gonna put this away hi debbie hi joan so does anybody want to want me to read that list off real quick just uh send me a thumbs up or put some hearts real quick and i can read that before i get started no okay oh there are some thumbs up and hearts okay not orderable the clear cellophane nine and a quarter by three and a quarter cellophane logo bags those are not orderable right now they will be available january 24th so that's not too far hi julia the white glittered organdy ribbon available february 7th the white frayed ribbon available january 24th and this reminds me now you know how um you know how you can order, there's an order number for a suite. So if you just want everything that comes in the suite, you can use that number and then everything will be ordered automatically. Well, if you pop up, if, if you pop in a number for a suite and it says not orderable, did you know that you could order the bundle still and some of the accessories individually? and get most, most of the things you want in that suite. So this is the good example. The white frayed ribbon is not available right now. So the suite that that's in is turned, is not orderable, the whole suite. And all that's not available is that ribbon. So you can still get the bundle and that's where you get the, the discount. And then everything else is regular price. So that's a good thing to know. So you don't have to just say, oh, I can't get any of that stuff. Yes, you sure can, just not the ribbon right now. Okay, right now also Jet Black stays on ink refill, orderable January 24th. The Early Espresso Classic ink refill is not, and the date is to be determined. Tuxedo Black Memento ink, February 7th. Early Espresso Stampin' uh, Classic pad, to be determined. The Regals Collection stamping pads, the Subtles, the Brights, and the Neutrals. And this is a good example, if there's a pad it's not available they don't they turn off the whole family because they don't want to send you um, what is available and then send you back again later the one that was uh, to be determined or turned off okay sailing home cling stamp set it will be back on january 24th hi marla forever blossoms stamp set cling january 24th beautiful moments cling january 24th Happiest of Birthdays, one of my favorite. That is January 24th. Bows and Blossoms Cling Stamp Set, January 24th. And Blossoms in Bloom Photopolymer Stamp Set, January 24th. The Paper Snips will be back February 21st. Stays on Cleaner, 20, January 24th. The Stamp and Pierce Mat, the week of January 24th. Sponge Daubers, the week of February 7th. Word Wishes, and I'm gonna use those on Tuesday. So they'll be available the week of the, 20, of the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's. Layering Circle Dies, week of February 14th. Stitched Rectangle Dies, week of January 24th. Cutting Blades, Multi-Pack, week of January 24th. The Paper Trimmer, also January 24th. Evergreen Forest 3D Embossing Folder, January 24th. 
tear and tape adhesives available January 17th, the week of. Um, and I still have my adhesive bags if you, if you need those things sooner. Picture this dies, January, picture this is the name of the dies, January 24th, tailor-made tags, January 24th, bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder. So I'm gonna use that on Tuesday also. That's available January 24th. Love and happiness bundle, and then um, boughs, oh, that's January 24th. Everything's January 24th that I'm gonna read now. Boughs and Blossoms bundle, artfully composed sweet collection, composition artistic sweet collection, and Blossoms and Blooms bundle. Okay, so those are the things that are not orderable right now. And if you have a question about any of those, um, you just just let me know and I'll get the list up again for you. You can send me a private message, an email. An email's best. I see those fastest and then I can help you personally. Look at this card. This is from one of my followers and friends, Kathy. It's beautiful and that came snail mail. Uh, yesterday I believe it was or maybe it was the day before. She sent me a nice note and I just totally appreciate the prayers. It's just a beautiful, beautiful card. And um, just started with my group so they know what is unorderable. Oh, just shared. Okay, good. Is it? Yes, it is a gorgeous card, and it made both Ken and I my day. Um, that was very thoughtful of you, Kathy. And then I received this card about oh, probably a week or two ago, but it's been in my living room up on by where we watch television, so I could admire it all the time. And this is from Karen Kirshner and she sent me some snail mail and this is the card that was with the mail and i really like karen's work she um she embossed on designer series paper and she cut out all these flowers and stems and bows but notice that her card is completely flat yet she makes it so cute and desirable i just love how she layer layer layered so embossing folder on DSP and then layered up, layered up, layered up, but still a flat card so you don't have to spend a lot on postage. Isn't that a sweet, sweet card? Hi, Kathy. So thank you both ladies for your snail mail. I love receiving that. Here is my host code for January, right here. You can shop with me right there. If you need me to place the order for you, I can do that too, so just email me. And speaking of email, there it is. And I can place your order for you. And then um, if you have any friends that do not have Facebook and they would like to uh, see my replays, send them to YouTube and the, my channel is under my name. Oh, thank you, Karen. All right, so there's that. And then real quick, I'm gonna whip out the prizes for the month. You have a choice. If you place an order with me, your name's gonna be automatically entered and you have a choice. You can either pick this beautiful pool party ribbon or you can pick the special moment stamp set that is in the celebration brochure right now that you can earn free if you place a $100 order. So if that's not some, an option you have, you might win it if you place an order with me. And there is no minimum or maximum order that you can place with me. You'll just qualify with any order. So the, what's the stamp set I'm using tonight? I'm using radical. I can't say this word. I try and try and try. Renaculous, I think, is how you pronounce it right. Romance. I love it because it's one that I can collage with, which is one of my favorite techniques. And the Renaculous dies. I love these dies so much. Mainly, I thought this one. That's what caught my eye first, but I love them all. If you have your catalog, it's the mini. It's on there on page 54. See what that die does that I just showed you? Isn't that gorgeous? And they teamed it up with my favorite DSP, Heart and Home, here on the wood grain. So I just knew that this whole set was gonna be something that I would use a lot and be up my alley. 
So that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. I have all my dies out on my little, um, my little bowl that's, that they all stick to so I don't lose them. Magnetic bowl. And I have all my stamps out in this set already ready to use because I do that when I know that I can collage and use a lot of the stamps. I don't want to slow down by having to stop and put them on their blocks. So I'm going to start with a really simple card at first. This is just a piece of scrap paper to stamp on. But let me show you the card. And I'm using the colors Blackberry Bliss, Smoky Slate, and I'm going to use regular markers, the Evening Evergreen and Blackberry Bliss today. On Tuesday, I'll be using some other colors. Okay. I'm also going to use our new, on this card, my next card, I've got two cards tonight. I'm also going to use this new window pane checked ribbon. I love this stuff, and I'm going to show you a combination that's not, that's quite unique, I, I believe. And, um, but let me just get started on the first card. You love it too, Charlene. Yeah, you and I have a lot the same taste. So here's the card. And what I am showing tonight is simple stamping, not much layering. Karen Kirshner, you inspired me. I I usually layer and layer and layer. It's something I love to do. But this card allows me to still create something beautiful. I did use one dimensional under here, but most of this card is completely flat. Hi, Pam. My shirt's gonna bug me, so I'm gonna have to unbutton the cuff and roll it up because it keeps sliding down and getting in my way. All right, so here is the base, and it is just the regular cardstock, four and a quarter by 11, scored in the middle at five and a half. This is for the inside of the card. And I use the designer series paper. Heart and home. This designer paper reminds me of, this is gonna sound weird, but a country evening, fences, um, romance. It's just soft. It could be feminine, it could be masculine. These here remind me of a beautiful pattern on a lacy, um, gathered flowy blouse and so I just totally fell in love with the heart and home designer series paper so I took the opposite side of this blue gorgeous print and I stamped on it on this card here with one of the stamps in the set that is script on lined paper and I used the gray so it would be subtle but yet it would bring um, layers to your work. All right, so let me cut that down. Now my card base is four and a quarter. So the designer series paper will be cut at four. And the designer series paper is 12 by 12. So I am just going to turn this over and cut it down to five and a quarter. Okay, then I will have this piece left over, which I will use for the second card that I'm gonna to make tonight. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the smoky slate. Hi, Irene. And I cleaned off my stamps because I've been using them over and over to make different projects for you. 
Now I'm simply lining my designer series paper up on my grid paper so I know it's straight. And I'm going to stamp partially off just to give a little bit of the script at the top there. Okay, then I'm going to come down over here and lower it just a little bit. Hi, Valerie. And then just randomly stamp more script, partially on, partially off your designer series paper. Try not to think about it too much because if you do, it will look staged and you want it to be kind of a random flow. Now here is the Renaculus flowers, a bud and two full, and I wanted them to be two colors on my card, as you can see. Hi, Kathleen, welcome. So I went to my markers, and I hadn't used this technique in a while. Usually I'm inking up with a stamp pad, but when you want the flowers, to be a different color than the stems, or you want multiple flower colors on a bouquet, then you wanna use your markers to create that look. This is the Evening Evergreen. Hi, Nellie. And I'm using the side of my marker, not the tip, and I am coloring the stems and the leaves on this gorgeous stamp. Okay, and I use the wide tip. See, there's two tips. There's a fine tip and the, the line on the marker tells you which is the fine tip and which is the wider tip. Now I'm gonna bring the stamp up to my mouth and I'm gonna huff. Hot air will be blown onto the stamp to revitalize the ink and then I'm going to press down and hold my stamp for a second to give the stamp complete time to, to soak into the designer series paper, hold my paper and lift. And you have this beautiful bouquet of flowers, just like that. Then the scrap paper and then the smaller stamp in the set. It's also the Renaculus. Same exact technique as I did before. And this, <clears throat> actually both, um, both of these flowers have a die that you can use to cut them out. If you do not want the dies, you can fussy cut them. Thanks, Irene. So same thing, hold it down, hold your paper and lift. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I cut one out already just for time's sake, but I'm gonna cut that one out for you right now. put everything back into my sleeve so I don't lose it. Okay. <clears throat> Here is my cut emboss machine. Here is my magnetic bowl of dies because I knew I was gonna be cutting out many different ones, using them all. So I just took them all out and put them in the bowl. So they're right at my fingertips. Where do I get those sleeves? I've been getting that question a lot and I'm so glad you asked Debbie so I would be, my, be reminded to tell you guys. Here is the second one. So these sleeves, they're awesome. Let me move this machine. They're from Stampin' Storage. 
can go to stampinstorage.com and these uh, sleeves actually are six by six and they have a tab so you can label them if you want to. I do use them for my six by six papers also and see their tab is, is um, I put a, a label on my tab and then the item number there. But when I'm making my cards, after I know, you know, have my base and my designer series paper, my scraps, everything I need for this card, then I slip them in here. There's a, a thumb, a finger pull too here, and they're open on the top and the side. But these are called six by six paper sleeves. So when you go to stamp and storage, stamp and storage right there, look for the six by six paper sleeves. There's a 15 of them in here. I don't remember the price, but I love them because they've been so, help me stay organized. They help me a lot stay organized. Okay, so um, let's take all my product out of my sleeve again. Where do I get the magnetic bowl for my dies? You can get them on Amazon, but they're a little more pricey than Harbor Freight. These bowls, and there's different sizes, there's a smaller one and then there's bigger ones. I kind of got the second to the smallest one. Harbor Freight is a store that men love to go to mechanics use these bowls when they're working on vehicles and they've got a bunch of nuts and bolts that they drop all over the place and they throw them in these bowls so they can hold on to them and so stampers started using them for the dies and i just love having them all right here at my fingertips and then i can't lose them that way and then i can put them all away really quickly too when i'm done all right so let's go back to my card thank you good questions ladies and I'm going to go to another stamp in the set. Thank you for sharing your heart. Now, isn't that sweet? A sweet, sweet saying. Love it. So back to now I have, um, I only need one color. I only need Blackberry Bliss. And so I'm going to go to my stamp pad and ink this up. And then I'm going to stamp it over one of the script areas I try to be Debbie I'm I'm not I mean I try to be I could improve I guess we all can improve on certain things right but I try really hard to be organized what what's that statement work smarter not harder and you know I have so much going on with other responsibilities that like we all do some of us work with some of us have children I have my mom my house my kids you know everything that we've got going on and um so being organized just helps me <laughs> get through my day honestly okay so the other scrap piece of paper i needed was for this where is it this stamp here love this one and i just went to the same two colors so the evening evergreen side of my marker again do not use the tips of your marker for this you'll ruin your tips and teach that at your classes if you're a demonstrator so your product will stay nicer longer okay stamp that down now this one does not have a die this stamp does not have a die with it look how cute that is little eiffel tower and i love anything that's rounded stamp like that so just take your snips but remember right now the snips are um, not orderable so I'm gonna get here to these little lines and I'm just gonna move my paper so I can cut around those nicely I uh, get a lot of comments on how is it that you cut out so nicely and that's just moving the paper not the scissors and you will be able to get a lot of intricate cuts without a lot of problem. So this is the only item on this card that's gonna require, it doesn't even require it, that I used a 
dimensional on. So here's my pieces. I'm going to use a mini glue dot because I guess I'm out of regular size. So I'll use two of these right now just to, because they're right here. All right, so now mini glue dots. And I've mentioned this before, just to give my cards a little bit of dimension. I don't glue them down flat. I just put my mini glue dot towards the bottom and then I just come up here and stick it down so this will be loose and floppy. That's just something I do. Doesn't mean it's wrong to completely put it down. You can do you can do whatever you need to do. And then this one, you can have it go off this piece of designer series paper a tad because the card itself is a quarter inch bigger than this layer piece so going off the designer series paper a little bit's not going to hurt anything and then that little um, area where everything meets i'm just covering it up with this i'm going to call it a stamp and then layering it down onto the card and I'm use, gonna use my liquid glue to put that down. Now we have heartache, don't we, about not using both sides of our designer series papers. It kills us sometimes because they're just so pretty. So my next card, I'm gonna show you what I did to remedy that because when I turned over this paper, because I wanted to use the wood, and I saw that beautiful blue. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot not use that. So I made another card that uses both. Okay, so for the inside, in, the, in this stamp set also, there is this long stamp, which they made perfectly for the size of your lining. So I, you can take any color you want, this one, I did the gray, so this one, I think I'll just do the Blackberry Bliss. And because this is a long, narrow stamp, and I want to try to avoid getting ink on the edges of the stamp, I just want to try to get ink on the actual image, I turn it over and I tap lightly so I can see if I got ink anywhere that I didn't want to get it, which I did right there. If I would have done this, I might have just went directly to my card and not saw that there, and then caused a little halo, what we call an ink halo. So now I have the opportunity to clean that off, line up my card. I'm gonna huff again since I've been talking, and then I'm gonna set this stamp down and let the ink soak in. Hold your paper and lift. Look at that. Real simple. This is a beginner card for sure, but just because you're a beginner doesn't mean that the card is not really attractive. The images that Stampin' Up! have in these catalogs really, really, really are gorgeous. Could you use a marker on that one too? You absolutely could. So one of the ways to get a lot of colors if you don't have a lot of stamp pads is buy a family. Let's say Bold Brights is your favorite um, family of color. Get the markers and then it takes a little bit longer than tapping and getting ink on the whole stamp, but you have so many more colors or the spots, and then you, um, you will have a bigger variety of ink colors 
available to you. The other way that you can collect ink really well and quickly is by having a paper pumpkin subscription because they send us different ink pads all the time. And each month there's a different ink color. So um, you can collect them that way. So make a coordinating envelope with this card and you'll have stationery that's to die for. I probably should have done that, but I didn't, so I'll do it right now. Because it does make a world of difference, especially when your card is simple like this, having a coordinating envelope just instantly turns it into stationery. That's what I think of. And it will catch the recipient's eye immediately. And it just takes a second. You could also line the flap, the back of the envelope, with the same coordinating designer series paper. And you just stepped it up big time. Okay, look at that. So there we go. All right, card number two. Let me clean off my stamp. And I'm going to put these back in the sleeves. All right, the other day I was talking to you about using books. And I showed you the actual cover of a book that I found in my house. I have a lot of them and I tore the inside of the book out. And so I have this book and I just have all this paper to work with. Okay, the Renaculus dies. I also told you that this one caught my attention right away the first day I was looking into the, looking at the catalog. I want to tell you that this will cut out a window if you use it on its own. And I'll talk more about that on Tuesday. But if you pair it up with the outline that goes with it, then it cuts out the flower completely. What I do to make life simple for myself is I find how it matches up the first time I use it and I take a Sharpie marker and I mark both the liner and the actual flower die. And I know now how to line it up onto my paper every single time without having to try to figure out which way it goes. Those two marks tell me really quick. Because um, book pages are thin, you can cut out two or three at a time. So here are some cut out already. Now on this page, there was actually some, um, I guess, advertisement or drawing of some type. So look at how it, how it cut out that flower with a darker color. I absolutely love these. Okay, so I told you that I cut this paper when I cut the first one on the first card to four by five and a quarter that this piece was left and it's the same paper as um, I used on the first card. So let me show you the second card. If that isn't a country feminine soft feel, I don't know what is. I just absolutely love this card and it's all made with this bundle. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we have a little bit too long of paper here, so we need to take our scoring tool and we need to get this to five and a quarter, but instead of cutting it off, we're gonna close this and we're going to score it. All right. Then we can just flip this over and both sides of our designer series paper are visible. Now this uh, 
is midnight oh what's the name what's the color of this paper misty moonlight misty moonlight i believe it says on the back of the designer series paper let me double check that so i don't give you wrong information misty moonlight yes and look how pretty this looks already but i talked to you about the window pane check ribbon it is in the color of the evening evergreen so i thought oh my goodness i can use that because it's green and the flowers have leaves even though i use this the um the lighter green in the new in colors what's that color right this color escaped me right now <clears throat> and so i'm going to layer this down and this is also going to keep my flap down so i'm going to take my mini glue dots i thought there was one left here there it is and set this down press and come around okay i want it lower than that pressed really hard so now i got to take it off all right have to be up really early tomorrow i'm gonna to say good night okay thank you for stopping by have a nice monday snip this off and then go back to another glue dot place this down the other thing I didn't mention is our silver foil paper. If you just take the outline of the big ranaculus and just cut out with just this, you'll get a solid piece like this. And the reason I liked the solid piece is because you could subtly see it behind the pages flower. And how many did I put on this one? Yeah, I thought so. I put three. So it's subtle, but yet you can see the shine under there. Okay, so that makes everything really pretty too. I keep putting my mini glue dots away and I still need them. So, oh, I'm glad you like that. I see a heart. Okay, so I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and I'm just gonna stick this down and do the same with the other two. And like I said, this pages is so thin that you can cut out, tear out three pages, and then just get three of these really quick. Okay, then I like to crinkle them up for a little bit of dimension. Okay, let's put this down on the card. I'm training myself, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, not to put the cap back on my Tombow glue until I'm done with my whole live because I waste so much time, so much of your time, taking the glue cap on and off. Okay, then that's fluffy enough that I really don't think I need a dimensional. So I'm just gonna set that down. And then in, these, in the dies, there's this beautiful leaf. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut those out in advance too. I'm just gonna set one there. And one here, you're gonna just decide where you want them. And then you, when you like where you want to place them, you can just put them down. How beautiful it looks with this ribbon, these two different patterns. I didn't know at first, it was just an experiment and I really like it a lot. Okay, then I'm gonna take some more of this ribbon
This is approximately, well, this is 10 inches. I'm just guessing, I, I never really measure. It's one of my bad habits. And I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I know I should tie it on the, on the roll and then not waste as much. I know that and I always forget to do it. Too many glue dots to hold down ribbon is my rule for myself. That way they don't fall off at all. And then um, in this set also is a little stamp that says just because, and I really like a just because card. So again, just on your scrap, I have one of our stamp cases full of scraps. Just find one that you think will fit what you're doing. Tap lightly. This is a small stamp and press lightly. No, that's not, that's too, not wide enough, so I gotta turn it this way. And press lightly. So instead of pressing hard, just leave it there a little bit longer. And then you have a nice image. Okay, then I will cut this with snips. Try not to touch it just because I just stamped it and it might still be a little wet. But I want this to be very narrow because it's gonna go in the middle of my flower. I'm gonna snip an end here and then go to the corners and snip up to where the first snip ended to get my little flag and do that again. And this time I think I will take the liquid glue and lightly go across the whole image, the whole little flag. And stick this right there just because and then you could stamp on the inside anything else you wanted this card to be for the in color jewels really look good with this card too I like the green ones on this one I think yep I use the green ones there too they're kind of iridescent so they kind of change colors a little bit thank you for the hearts so I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and put one large and two smalls just for a little bit of glam and I gotta order more of these. And look how pretty this card is. It just really, really something I love. Now I'm looking for the other one I just made. Here it is. So I love to show you how different cards can be using the same exact stamp set, just different colors. Now this one, I think I'll make an envelope and use this paper on the flap. Won't that be pretty? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm not going to make it because it's late. We've been here already for 46 minutes again. But I took some designer series paper, the same, same pack, and I folded it up on itself and then folded it back down to make a little flap here. And I used tear and tape on the inside so it's a pocket. And I love in the summertime when I have company, we use um, wooden utensils outside. And anytime I see something that's stampable, I stamp it. <laughs> so the handles of this wooden uh, fork and knife were stamped using the same set and these same colors in the same way. And then you can slip them in. And I loved how the in color, ribbon, uh, pale papaya. Oh, very good, Bev, you remembered a color. 
kind of turned neutral matching the, the, the uh, stemware. So this would look super cute with your paper plate and your napkin on your picnic table, I think. But that's all I'm gonna show you tonight. You have to come back on Tuesday to see I have, I have other things that you're gonna to wanna to see. Okay, any questions? Page 54 for this stamp set and dies and page 59 for the designer series paper. It's called Heart and Home. All right, my friends. There's no questions. I'll let you go. Good night.